enhance video quality up to 4K with the help of VMake. I want to show you the comparison between VMake app versus VMake web online video enhancer comparison with the latest updates. Hey guys, I'm Hamza from Android Ultra. I hope all of my viewers find request for new viewers subscribe because a lot of you just watch and go nowhere like you have never been here and watch the video we have this type of interface on the vmake multiple times we've used on my channel and i explained in one of my last vmake app review i reviewed this one version and i'm reviewing from the very earlier versions of the vmake or you can say the very first version a lot of people expecting the same old we make which one I reviewed almost one or two or even three years ago. We have a lot of new updates. Check out by click on top right side card to know what's happening in the background. I briefly explained it will not take a long. Uh, we have a lot of new features as well here as you can see. Much more features but let's check out AI Enhancer. We have Ultra HD Portrait Studio is the new option is here. This is something cinematic mode in the Apple devices AI UAT which one is absolutely magical in the upscaler we have 4 resolution and stabilization is not available we have frame interpolation so right now I'm going to test out AI UAT as you can see here we have only 2 seconds of preview available as trial this will take some time for processing that's why I click on you later and you can see here it takes almost 21 minutes this is credit based credit and subscription is separate in this app for AI UAD model except the other ones I tried out another model which is the portrait so my videos processed and now downloading once it's download I will show you the side by side comparison or by saving it so unfortunately I'm not expecting I am not able to save the portrait model video Definitely show you the side by side comparison. This app only let me to download Ultra 80 model for the portrait, its required subscription. Moving on, the VMake web version I reviewed almost two years ago. I compare almost so right now, the things is different, but the interface is quite similar to that particular VMake. So right now you can see here we have a lot of examples and uh, the FAQ. Let me show you how you can enhance video using the VMake app. Click on upload button and you have to choose the video. Then everything is automatic. Your video will be uploaded and then show you AI models. Before it we don't have AI models. VMake web automatically process your video according to your video. But right now it will show you and automatically select the best model according to your video because this is the portrait faces here people here in my video that's why it's choose the people model this is uh, the portrait model in the app in my opinion I tried out the people model and download the 5 seconds of preview free of cost which is not available in the app at all so right now I use the 4k resolution and download the 5 seconds of the preview Let's check out side by side comparison and which one is the better one. As you can see here, I don't really like the quality of the VMake app enhancer at all in my opinion. Right now we have a lot of good options available. Airbnb is one of the best and still its AI repair option is one of the best. You can try it out multiple times. I am top video enhancer reviewer on the YouTube. More than 60 plus videos available in my video enhancer playlist. Many video enhancer apps reviewed first time on my channel. So what I'm going to say is I know the details recovered by the AI model is definitely good but not as good as the old VMake app and the web versions. What do you think about the quality? Let me know in the comment section. Old one VMake is the better or the new one because a lot of things change and improve with the time and new updates bring a lot of features this is the video for today subscribe like here with others see you soon with the new video